welcome to the figure zone i'll be doing reviews on the latest figures some older ones third parties customs and some diy tutorials to make your collection look even cooler please subscribe if you'd like to see more awesome figure reviews and help you out on your journey of collecting leave a comment below if you like this figure let me know today we have the classic mighty superhero cmsh-04 black hero 16 superhero series a Ace Toys, T-O-Y-Z. This is a third-party company that's making the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1 Black Ranger. So there is another company coming out. Three Zeros making official ones. They are a little bit cheaper. Don't know what the quality is going to be. We will find out when they show up. So for the meantime, let's check this guy out. Use a hair dryer to do the parts. These guys are a little bit tough to get some of the hand pieces in there, especially with the hands with the weapons. And here is the figure. Let's check out some accessories. Here are the accessories for the Black Ranger, Zach Taylor. He's got some fisted hands on him right now on the figure. He's got two of the holding hands here. They're pretty malleable, which is pretty cool. They need to heat it up, heat them up a tiny bit more if you like. We got an expressive hand here. Feels pretty nice. The gloves are very weathered on these guys. Their suits were always like, you know, crystal clean sometimes, but then they're crazy weathered gloves. Always kind of funny. Over here, got his blade blasters in both forms. So this folds up, but this one doesn't actually fold. You get two of them, which is kind of cool. So you can have one in his uh, holster and use one, which would look kind of silly, but they could have just made like a little piece in there and woof, folded it over, but it's still cool. I like the options. Great look in there, very nice. And you get the blade version. Again, looks very cool. A lot of detail in there, a lot of paint going on. It looks very nice. You got all kinds of washes and different colors going on in there. Very, very sweet. And over here, we have his power axe, aka also the cosmic cannon. What's cool about this is, is you got this, which is his sweet axe. Looks very nice. It, it weighs a little bit too. There's no die cast, but just very thick thickness going on here. This can slide over here too, so he can hold this to turn into his cosmic cannon. Very cool little detail. You can slide this around a little bit. Awesome idea. Didn't even think they'd even include that thing, but they paid attention to some details. And it looks nice. Even got like uh, some scorch marks over here going on from the heat. That's very cool. You who would know they would put that in there? It's like a Hot Toys quality going on there. Very cool. And here we have the Black Ranger, Zach Taylor. He has the Mastodon Dinosaur he can summon. So he's got that cool looking helmet there that represents his Zord. It looks nice. It's got some great detail going on in there. Got the eyes. Got the little horn pieces going on. I got a little piece of funk in my uh, printed piece there. It looks like it's silkscreen printed on, but that's okay. Power Rangers always get hit and have a little damage for one second, and then the next time they're super, super clean looking. <laughs> oh, there's his belt. The Mastodon in there. It says, blob. It's just a big blob of stuff. You can kind of make out something, but maybe they did it intentionally, so you can uh, not be, because this is a third-party company. and Maybe they didn't want to go all the way, so you never know. Some guys don't care. They even make the box look like the actual real thing. They want to do like a copy of something. But these are the first guys to make these figures. The other company, Three Zeros, coming out with figures also. But uh, this is Ace Toys. And they've made these guys first. So I jumped on them quick because I, I had no idea that someone else was going to make these figures. So I all loved the Power Rangers when I was a kid. Not back in the 90s watching this thing when it came out. It's pretty freaking awesome. I actually wasn't too much of a kid. I think I was like 17 in 1992. It's got the holster over here. Everything fits in there perfectly. This is a cool material, so he's he can go as far as you want with uh, stretching him out and doing some cool poses. And uh, this is a silkscreen feel. You got little harder pieces here on the gauntlets, which you can slide up and down a little bit to hold the to uh, the joints can be you know popped out a little bit when you change the hands out. And you can slide those around to hide any kind of wrist peg joint, which is pretty sweet. The heads, I pulled one off by accident the other day, and it's just a basic ball joint. So 
if some third party out there makes us a nice custom, you know, head sculpt of Zach and the other guys, I would freaking jump on that because 3-0... They're not making any head sculpts. They're just making the basic figures. They're around like close to $100 a piece when you buy the whole pack. These guys are a little bit more expensive. But when you bought the box set, you got the giant, huge combined weapon all combined, which looks freaking awesome. We will go over that in the Red Rangers review because that thing is almost like a review in itself. That thing is freaking massive. So, yeah, very nice. If you're a Power Rangers fan, you know, you got the choice. You could pick these guys up, a little bit more money. Or you can wait for the three zero one, see how those guys fare. But so far, everything's pretty cool in this guy. What we'll do is we're gonna put him on the turntable, check out some poses, and see what he can pull off. Zach Taylor is the Black Ranger. He was in season one, and I believe he was in season two also. Uh, he has the Mastodon dinosaur that he can summon. He created his own martial arts style, which is pretty funny, called Hip Hop Keto. That's pretty cool. He was the uh, the funny guy, the great dancer in the show, and awesome martial artist. Um, some of the things I like about this guy is he just looks awesome. Um, the suit is unrestrictive. You could pretty much pose away on this guy. He's got a... Uh, the bodies aren't the best on these guys. I'm not sure what kind of body they're using, if it's like a basic body, but... Sometimes when you get the arms held up too high or try to hold a weapon up, especially like a, a heavy or something, a little bit heavier, the arm tends to droop down just a little bit. It can't quite go super high above the shoulder. So not quite sure of the bodies. It'll hold these basic poses. You see, I'm trying to stretch this guy to the limit pretty much of what he can do with his poses. And he's, uh, he's taking it pretty well there, taking it like a champ. So posing-wise... Pretty good. Um, I'm liking it. The outfit looks awesome. Again, because you can pose the crap out of this guy because it's just material. There's something underneath there you can feel a little bit, but it's not restricting anything. It's not like one of those fat suit things that you can't move the figure around in. This feels really good. He's a little unstable, so I'm using a stand a lot in here. I'm doing some pretty dynamic poses with some of these guys, especially some long poses in bow stance. Or some other stances that require a little bit more, uh, it's harder to balance a figure when he's in a Mabu stance, so. But, uh, yeah, he can hold those poses, which is freaking awesome. Uh, he's got some decent accessories, which are pretty much the accessories you see him in with the show. I don't know what else we could really ask for, except for maybe an unhelmeted head. That would be really awesome again. Uh, three zeros making these guys. I don't think they're making unhelmeted heads either unless they surprise the crap out of everybody But for like a hundred dollars or less for a figure. I don't know if you're gonna get that These guys are a little bit more, but um, I'm hoping someone someday third-party companies out there. Hey, how's it going? Uh, share this video with them get us some head sculpts. I love to have head sculpts for all the main characters It'd be freaking awesome um, The one thing I would do have to say is here's a little Neo Matrix pose going on here. <laughs> Thought I'd have some fun with this guy, really push the limits, see if he can hold a pose in an odd spot. And he's doing well. He's not flopping around or anything. He's the body seems pretty good for whatever the frack this body is. I don't even know what it even is. So the uh the one thing I do notice is when I'm trying to use his hands to put the weapons in the hands, they're pretty like thick. Now I in the basement when I'm recording these things. And it's around like 65 degrees, so it was like those hands were pretty tough. So I placed them in front of like a space heater while I was recording some of this other stuff. And then the hands became like super malleable, so heat them up a little bit like the hair dryer thing does work. You can even dip them in hot water, put the hand in the position you want, and it'll pretty much stay a little bit more malleable. So again, thanks so much for watching this video. I've got the rest of the Power Rangers all going up if they're not up already. Check these things out. Leave a comment below if you're getting these guys, if you have them, or do you want to get the three zero ones instead? It's really up to you. The three zero ones are a little bit cheaper, but uh, I'm not sure of the quality. So for the meantime, these guys are out. I bought these guys a while back. I wasn't quite sure if they're ever going to make somebody's going to do a real official one. So I figured, what the frack, just buy them. Thanks so much for watching.